How y'all doing, my brothers and sisters in Christ? Let's give our praises to Yeshua HaMashiach. The Lord is good. The Lord is, he's all awesome today. Um, I want to make this quick video to tell you about my uh, my encounter that I had, a supernatural encounter that I had, um, what I had with the angel of the Lord today. Um, I was praying in my home. Um, I forgot what I was praying about, but I was praying in my home. I was praying in my house. And I was going to the beach uh, to do, you know, outreach ministry. And uh, I was up in the park. I was up, I was up in the park area, heading towards the beach, and I saw my friend across the street named Daryl. You know, he's a uh, old old man, old guy that I go to see every once in a while to go talk to him. You know, um, and he was sitting there reading his new reading his newspaper. Just um, his bike was right next to him. You know, it just seemed just reading and stuff, right? So um, just like. You know, just just out of nowhere, this man appeared. This man appeared, you know, jogging. You know, he was very tall, uh, had short blonde hair. You know, short white man blonde hair, real tall white man. He had on a um, he had on some type of blue t shirt. You know, light blue t shirt, jogging suit. Uh, I mean, jogging t shirt, and had on some shorts, some uh, dark black shorts, I believe, and some white some white gym shoes on. And he was very tall. About, um, I would say about six feet tall, I believe, if you want to say that. Uh, but anyway, he just had he had some headphone pieces up in his ears, and he was just you no, know, he was just jogging like he was smiling a little bit, just, but he had, he looked like he was tired and stuff. And he was he was not too far in front of me, still jogging. I was I was walking, you know, right behind him, you know. But he was not too far he was not too far ahead of me, and he made this turn. And then I, when I turned my head to look the other way, I turned back. About uh, about about a minute later, he was gone. You know, I looked in front of me. I looked behind me. I looked across the street. I looked in the cars. I looked uh, in the parking lot to see if he was in the parking lot. That man was nowhere in sight. Even even the the, the short way that he took, they turned. I ain't even see him down that way. I looked behind the trees to make sure he was. You know, was he behind the trees or in the grass or anything like that? You know, just playing games. But this man was nowhere in sight. So later on, it hit me what scripture had said and um. Let's go to Hebrews, in the book of Hebrews. Hold on, everybody. Just wait. Let's go to Hebrews, chapter two. No, 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 no. Excuse me, y'all. My bad. Give me one minute. Okay, Hebrews chapter thirteen, verse two, and it said, "Be not forgetful to entertain strangers." For thereby some have entertained angels unaware. So I, whatever I was, uh, I mean, I cause you know today I was uh, going out ministering, witnessing to a lot of people. But this happened before I started doing that, okay. And I probably, and I, I probably entertained an angel. Didn't even know it. At the, didn't even know it at the time. And uh, it came back to me what what, what the spirit of God hit me with scripture coming from Hebrews chapter. He coming from the um, book of Hebrews. Chapter thirteen, verse two, where it tells us be not forgetful. You know, well, we we never know that who we might entertain. We could be entertaining angels. So um, that's my that's my supernatural encounter. I wanted to give y'all. Um, I just pray that um that we need to continue to strive for God. That we need to continue to take the word of God out because we never know. Um, you, we never know um when the angel of the Lord might come. We never know who we might entertain just by doing God's will on earth. Okay, so I love y'all, my brothers and sisters in Christ, and um, let's stay prayed up. Praise Jesus forevermore. Amen.